is Nitrox? If you guys are divers, it's likely that you may have seen a tank that looks like this at some point. This is a Nitrox tank. In diving, Nitrox, or enriched air, will refer to a mixture of breathing gases containing a higher than normal level of oxygen. You may have seen the cylinders marked with these yellow and green labels, which are the most commonly used throughout the industry. Normal breathing air, the air that we would find in a standard scuba tank, will contain 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, and 1% other inert gases. A nitrox cylinder will contain anywhere from 22% oxygen to 40% oxygen for recreational divers. The rest of the mixture will be made up of nitrogen and other inert gases, same as air. Concentrations any higher than this will only be used in technical diving. These mixtures can reach up to 100% oxygen, at which the cylinder will no longer contain nitrox, but rather pure oxygen. So what's the point? Why would we want to increase our oxygen content? A common misconception is that nitrox will allow you to increase your overall dive time, but what it actually does is increase our no decompression time. As we know, at any given depth we will be subject to a no decompression limit, or NDL for short. This is the amount of time we can safely stay at that depth before needing to add on decompression stops on our way up, which should never be done outside of technical diving. You can see our no decompression limits for air on the right side of the graph, coordinating with our depth on the left. Now what Nitrox can do is extend these decompression limits, allowing you to stay deeper for a longer period of time without adding any increased risk of decompression illness. With this greater concentration of oxygen comes a then lowered concentration of nitrogen, which will not accumulate in your tissues as quickly, allowing for these extended limits. Here we can see our no decompression limits on air at 21% oxygen compared to those on a blend of Nitrox 32 at 32% oxygen. As we can see, our Nitrox numbers written in green are considerably longer. So how do we decide what blend of nitrox to use? Well, your nitrox blend will be determined entirely based on what depth you're looking to dive to. Whereas nitrox is awesome and can increase our bottom times, it can also put us at risk of oxygen toxicity if we take a high enough blend too deep. So if for example, we wanted to dive to a wreck at 25 meters on nitrox, we would use this calculation here to determine the maximum oxygen content that we could carry with us. This formula requires you to divide the partial pressure of oxygen by our absolute pressure at 25 meters. But now, where do we get those numbers? Well, the partial pressure of oxygen, or PO2, is 1.4 atmospheres. We will use this same number every time when making nitrox calculations. Partial pressure is found through a formula under Dalton's law, which we will talk about in a later video. Our next number will be the absolute pressure at our given depth of 25 meters. When looking at absolute pressure, we should remember that it coordinates directly with our depth. Absolute pressure at the surface is 1, increasing by 1 atmosphere every 10 meters following this. Absolute pressure at any given depth is always the depth divided by 10 plus 1. So for a depth of 25 meters, we would use 25 divided by 10 plus 1, which will give us an absolute pressure of 3.5 atmospheres. After dividing this out, we will be given an answer of 0.4, which we will then multiply by 100 to get our percent oxygen, 40%. Now if on the other hand, we were given a nitrox tank containing 32% oxygen and wanted to determine our maximum operating depth, we would calculate that using this formula here. So for this one, we'll take our PO2, which is 1.4 as always, and divide by our percent oxygen. This number can be found simply by taking our given oxygen percentage and placing a decimal point in front of it. This calculation leaves us with 4.375 bar, which is our absolute pressure at our maximum operating depth. So how do we get the depth from this pressure? In order to find the depth at 4.375 bar, we will take our absolute pressure, subtract 1, and multiply by 10. Essentially the same formula as our last problem, just working backwards. This leaves us with a maximum operating depth of 33.75 meters. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more videos from Scuba Lounge.